Welcome back to Sky Factory 4, and now we're going to carry on with this. We're going to just take this system, although, to be honest, I think I want to uh, maybe improve this a little bit, but not, not very much, just to actually stockpile lava. It tends to be coming useful for all kinds of different things, and um, we want more available more than just the military. I'll leave that one where it is, though, because that's fine to keep the military stocked for whatever we want to put in there. Now, to do that, uh, there's a few things uh, we want to get hold of. Uh, just a slightly different way of doing things. You can get an auto clicker to basically make this a lot faster. So in here we have some diorite, which I don't have, but hopefully you can craft. Uh, dispenser, we've already made, block of redstone, etc. So polished diorite is just diorite, as you might imagine, which is um, cobblestone and nether quartz. Okay, do I have that in my system? So let's just look this up. So diorite. And can I? Yes, I can. So if I just craft some small amount of polished diorite, um, what was it again for the clicker? Uh, oh, I needed a bit more. Not very much more, though. Um, yeah, that should be enough in polished form. And this mainly should solve the problem I have with the dispenser. Remember, I was having some trouble with it. Uh, basically, the, the default Minecraft dispenser can be a bit random, and uh, this gives us more control, or it should give us more control once we have all the different uh, things available for it. Uh, yep, let's just get a dispenser that way. And do I have redstone? Oh, enough for this, I do. So there is our auto clicker. Uh, we want the same thing, so we want another cauldron or at least more than one cauldron, but we'll we'll do it with one to start. Um, cobblestone. Do I want cobblestone? It'd be nice to do with something else, but this just makes it easier to get started with. So a cobblestone generator. We do, uh, I think this is a configurable interface, but we also want some kind of storage. Now, um, for, for storage, I normally like, uh, let's just have a look, is there infinite storage? Infinite tank? A creative fluid tank. No, is there infinite tank or infinite storage in some way? Just an energy cube, it looks like. No, okay, so we're gonna have to go to drums. Um, there's two drums in the pack, it looks like. Bust industrial drum. I assume that's nothing to do with this. Metal drums. So we need a wooden barrel. Wooden barrel seems easy enough with cauldrons and stuff. However, we're gonna need iron plates. Iron plates we don't have yet. And we can't cast them without making an iron plate cast. We've got the gold for the, the cast itself, but we're going to need a plate. Can we actually create one of these? I don't think we can create a clay plate, so we're going to need a way of actually creating some kind of plate in the first place. So it looks like there's a forging hammer from Practical Logistics, and that will take just a regular ingot and produce it into a plate, but we need to be able to make that first. So forging hammer is just going to my favourites. Uh, so is the metal drum and then also the wooden barrel and let's make some of those up so let's get rid of you for a second and let's go for the forging hammer can we just shift click in we can is this going to be one of those things i have to jump up and down on um well yeah maybe um don't think so though it looks like a, um, a steam drop hammer or something i hope that doesn't need anything attached to the top We'll see. It might just be a, a redstone signal or something. But uh, what, what kind of ingots do we have available? Do we have any ingots? Uh, we have enough iron to do that. I think it's probably two. And we're probably going to need a cast to just shorten this in future. So we may as well. So if I just put that in, will you work? So shift click in. And that's the slowest forge hammer I've ever seen. Where's, where's the... Oh, okay. No visual representation of, of the plate then. Oh, well. Okay, so uh, that's fine. We can then melt up some gold and make a plate cast. And let's just put the ingot cast in there for now. Oh, we did get a comment from the episode. I forgot all about this. I was trying to fill um, a bucket from the, uh, the porcelain melter. I was trying to put it in the porcelain casting basin. Never occurred to me to actually put it into the uh, the casting table. Works fine if you just fill it from there. However, I did it via tank proxy, but that's that's fine either way. Uh, it'll work. And now we should be able to create a cast, which will then let us make more of these in the future. 
So that's that one solved. So we then need the metal drum. So we're going to need six plates. And I assume it's going to be two, ing two iron ingots per plate. So let's just put them in. So, um, so that's going to make four, five, six. This has room for us to put this in the top. So we'll put that back. And then while that's going on, we need weighted pressure plates. So I'm going to get a couple of those. And it's a typical drum recipe apart from these side plates. And then we need the wooden barrel itself. And we have almost everything we need for that. Just again, a couple more pressure plates. And everything should be made. So we have then... Yeah. And I shot on planks. Okay. That's that one solved. Planks. From pressure plates. Oh, well. In fact, I had enough pressure plates. There we go. A barrel. A drum just needs the plates now. And we should be okay. So now I'm going to skip forwards until I've got all the plates available. And I probably should go and recraft that uh, redstone clock. So I had another one here to basically auto cast this out. So I'm going to go and make that. But I'll do that off camera. And we'll come back once everything's ready. And actually it only takes one ingot uh, in the um, melter to get uh, the iron plate. So we're fine with that. We have more than enough. And that will then let me go and craft you. So uh, let's craft that up. The drum. Shift click in. And we've got a metal drum. So uh, well, that's that done. So we've got the auto clicker, the metal drum. We're going to need another cobblestone um, generator. I couldn't even nab that one. And it probably is filled up already. So that wouldn't be... Oh, actually, it's still... Yeah, it's still passing stuff through. I think it's just getting rid of it if it actually isn't using it up. So I probably want another one anyway. Let's get that crafted. Um, I'm going to need, obviously, a bucket of lava. So let's just craft them. Bucket. Do I have... I have two. Well, three. Let's go and grab one. So let's grab a bucket of lava from... You. Okay. Bucket of water. And that should be enough. Hopefully. Cobble. Stone gen. Yeah. Uh, tier one will do, although we can craft tier two straight away. Mm, maybe I should go for tier two. Um, it's just iron. Yeah. Tier three is diamonds. We don't have quite enough, but we are getting resources to make diamonds, to be honest. So... Uh, we could look at putting the, those resources for diamonds straight into a um, straight into some kind of compactor to make them rather than enter the system on their own. And because they enter the system on their own, the recipe is a little bit different. For example, here, uh, you can see we already have 51 diamonds, so we can go straight to the higher tier cobble gen. And there's an emerald as well. In fact, let's just see how many emeralds would we actually get out of the system. Let's just go to here. Yeah, 56. So it looks like we're getting a good cobblestone generator. Cobble. And tier 5. Oh, no, hang on. We need the tier 4, which is blaze rods. Do I have the ability to make blaze rods? No. One of the problem one? Yeah, we don't have any ability to make them just yet. There's no compactor or easily generated machine for that. So, uh, well... Diamond, it'll have to stay. Tier 3 should be just fine. So with that, we're able to pass stuff into the clicker. And I wonder, can we get away without a hopper? Clicker needs to be on the, well, either the top or the side of this. So we could, um, we could put this underneath the clicker. And then that's to the side. So let's give that a go. So if that works... I'm not sure we're quite where to put this for now. For now, I'm just going to put it over here then. Um, if we put our cobble generator here, we'll have to make an array for this later. But for now, we'll just get away with it. And let's just put something like that there. Put the cobblestone generator on top, or the cobblestone cauldron on top, and the clicker... Now, which way do you face? If I put you down that way, you're facing towards me, so I need to probably face this away. 
Yeah, you're gonna go this way, hopefully. Looking like you're working. And then we have this configurable interface. It's automatically being fed by cobblestone. And we're able to right click on stuff. Are you automatically going in? It just need it does need some uh, torch underneath. That they won't work without one of those, but that's simple to solve. There we go. And if I just do this manually, it is a right click, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So uh, toggle sneaking. I don't really want sneaking. Oh, power. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, it is doing it. It's just doing it very slowly. Ah, okay. So Sweet Zero says zero RF per ticks. It's free. But it's slow. <laughs> That's fine because we can upgrade this once we have power. But for now, this will actually work. I do then need to export this into a drum. So if I hopefully this can maintain its contents as well. Oh, that's weird. That's not a drum I was expecting. We normally expect like a vertical oriented drum, oriented drum, but okay. And let's just try fluid. Uh, fluid extraction was it called? Fluid extraction pipe, cable, something like that. Uh, a dropper, yeah, easy enough. And weighted pressure plate. Okay, and which way around was it? I didn't quite remember. Maybe up. Oh. Why can you put that? Why can you put objects inside a drum? Which way around is it? It's going to have a look the other, other way. I'm not used to this particular piping system. Uh, it comes from the white side and goes to the other side. Okay, so that's the pull side. Let's just get this done then. Okay, so we should just be able to pull from the top. And there we go. We've got one bucket times one. All right. So that will work by itself. I don't need to do anything. I can just run past and grab a lava bucket whenever I want. Although that's extracting water or blank. Well, good point. If that is raining, I don't want water. So I don't want any accidental things there. So we're just going to do that. That means if I want an array of these things, I could probably just move it around to the back, these two, around to the back, and then we can have an array of the identical setups next to each other. We can probably share the cobblestone generator among all of them once we get to a piping system of some kind. Now, um, do I have... is it pipe? Yes, but is this object stuff, or is this uh, energy flux duct? Vacuum? No, item duct. Okay, so we can get item ducts in here. Uh, fluid ducts, item ducts, go and give me the basic, what's the basic item duct? Um, vacuum item duct? No. Item duct opaque is probably the, the, the worst one. And it just needs tin and lead and you get this and that's your regular thermal dynamics. Okay, so if you want that, that works. And we have translocators, good, I'm happy to see those. They are immensely fast and they don't require a lot of stuff apart from ender pearls. We need ender pearls. Now... We have seeds, I guess, for uh, pigs and cows. I think there are seeds for endermen. And enderman seed? Yes, yes, there are. Okay, so we want some way of stopping them from teleporting around if I'm going to have to hit one of them. So that is one thing. And uh, then we also need some of this stuff. So we need endstone, we need obsidian. Uh, blaze powder, which actually is, is... well. Is that actually fine? Yeah, it is fine. It's going to come from a, a particular kind of tree. That's okay. Uh, pumpkins we can grow or not. Um, interesting. I'll have to have a look into how to do that. Uh, hopefully we have some kind of seed. That's that's weird. Uh, yeah, that's nature essence, but we haven't got to that unlock yet. And then we need purple dye. And uh, let's see if what the end stone takes. Can you just be crafted with pouring something over? Yeah, glowstone. So lava over glowstone gives us end stone. Yeah, that's fair enough too. Okay, so I've got a few things to go and get done. And I'm going to do that off camera and come back once we've got something or ready to make a bit more progress. 
Okay, so one of the first things I want to actually take from here is to go and start making more saplings. There's some saplings I actually need that we don't have yet, etc. So we're just going to take up... Whoops, I've got a shield equipped. I don't really need that shield equipped, but... Um, yeah, we're going to go down one further because I don't want this walkway having this around. And we'll just... I mean, you can, I think you can connect things with just regular cable. You don't necessarily need the import cable. I just happen to have it in my inventory. There we go. And if we put this back, that's fine, at least for the moment. And then I'm going to want a few more to, to be imported. So let's just bring that around. And there we go. So we just need some hopping bonsai pots. And we should now be able to craft the upgraded version of the, the well, basically the, the soil. I'm not going to worry about it now, but I'll come back to it in a little while. Uh, let's just get this going. So I'm just going to get some grass blocks for now. And yes, we will upgrade. So that's fine. There we go. So I want to get a pro process of sapling from this lapis. So if we take a cauldron of water, like I said, this one, we should be able to turn lapis into mineral saplings. Mineral saplings should occasionally give us mineral berries, which is what we need to craft the next sapling. The next sapling is going to be glowstone, which has a really good advantage in that once you put it into a bonsai pot, it will generate you blaze powder which is what we need for various other things. So the blaze powder is good for all kinds of crafting. Um, Eyes Avenger, of course, typical kind of regular recipes. However, they do come in use for other things. And I think it's another type, is it another type of sapling? Um, let me just go and find what I needed this for one second. Yeah, so the glowstone sapling, as you might imagine, will let us cast out, well, create glowstone directly. Glowstone, we can get into the, the dust shape of glowstone, which is quite important, uh, because this, in turn, can be used for a bunch of other recipes. One of them is what I want, is for obsidian. You can get obsidian with, by just using cauldrons, you know, we've already, we're already able to do that just fine, but that's sort of random, it requires dealing with uh, water buckets and stuff. Instead, there appears to be, and I don't know why, but there appears to be... Uh, solidifier from cyclic. So you feed sticks into this for some reason and you feed lava into this and you get obsidian out of it. So sticks are obviously going to be easy. We can set them to pull out, our, out of our system and the lava, well, we're already making that. So we then have the ability to grab obsidian and obsidian can be used for a whole bunch of things, obviously like enchantment tables and beacons and various other bits. But for that, we just want a nice way to get obsidian uh, auto-generated for us. So I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. The solidifier, however, uh, have I actually put that as I say, sol sol solid, solidifier, there we go, uh, is going to need a few things. It's going to need lily pads, it's going to need a block of iron, an observer. Uh, do we have any of these things? Uh, can we actually make any of these things? We have not got any of those things. Block of iron is straightforward. Okay, Observer is also straightforward. Lily pads, uh, where are we going to get the lily pads from? Vines? Um, and Overworldian Matter? Hydrators? That's another machine. But that other machine looks more attainable. So maybe we're going to the hydrator first, and then we'll be able to uh, make lily pads out of bare ingredients like cactus grass, seeds, and vines. Vines, we can just dry a jungle sapling out to get those. Jungle saplings, um, we can get from the jungle sapling itself in the bonsai trees. So uh, we need to go and craft all of that. So I need to go and not craft the solidifier, but the hydrator as well. And we can do that. So let's just add that there. So we just need a couple of water buckets, a dropper, some bits and pieces. So have all of those things? Nope. <laughs> okay, let's get a bucket or two uh, full of water and grab those. Um, let's just grab it from the infinite water. There we go. It's kind of confusing when you're playing two packs at once and one has infinite water and the other one doesn't, but I, I digress. So <laughs> that's fine. Uh, we have buckets of water there and then we just need a dropper. Yes, easy enough. And terracotta should just be clay and clay we should already be able to make in the system. So, um, yep, full stack. And let me just convert over 
I don't know, half of this. Let's just put them in our furnaces over here. There we go. And let me just actually put some 16 in here as well. We don't need very many. We only need three, I think, but uh, that will start it going. And is there anything else? No, I think we have everything else. So let's just shift click and let's see what it says. Yep, just needs three. Ah, the recipe does stay in there. That's good. One, two, three. So there's our hydrator. If you use concrete and other blocks with water. It doesn't say that it actually gets the water from anywhere, but let's just put you down here for now. Uh, recipe unlocked are always on. Do you actually need power? I hope not. Uh, <laughs> I really hope not. Uh, looks like it says it just needs water, so that's fine. And let me get the grass and the various other bits and pieces. I'm going to need a drying rack and then... Wow, I need some place to put a drying rack, but yeah. Uh, well, let me get all those done and we'll come back once I'm able to get the lily pads. Yeah, of course, it's going to need power. <laughs> why wouldn't it? You know, why wouldn't it just give me it for free? So let's make a pitiful fuel generator, uh, which should hopefully let us get a teeny bit of power. There we go, hopefully. <laughs> and uh, we just need something to burn in that. So, of course, we've got plenty of wood. Let's just put that down. So let's put it there for now. No, let me put it on the back. Yep. Uh, side, front, west. Will it just output power? 15 RF per tick. Are you getting it just by contact? Uh, it looks like it's sending power somewhere. Or maybe it needs to be sided. Fuel input, charge pad, energy. It'll output to every side. Let's just actually remove them all apart from the left side, which is where we want it to go. Are you actually using power? No, you're not. Um, it would be nice if that actually gave me some power. Let me just put it on top and let's see if there's any kind of bare conduit I can actually do just to test it's actually producing power. Otherwise, we'll need to move to a different fuel generator entirely. Uh, but this one should be producing power. Hmm, one second. Just seems to be a bug in the hydrator itself. Everything else is working fine. It's just that it doesn't really show because it's not generating a lot of power. Uh, so, well, in fact, that's not even a bug. That's just, it's slow. Although it didn't show anything at all until I actually removed these. So if I take these back out, it then updated and then put it back in. So if you do see that yourself, that's probably why. I don't need to do anything else here other than that is really a pitiful fuel generator. It's a, <laughs> it's a very, very, um, you know, correct description. Also, uh, I think apparently these chests may be fixed in the latest version of the mod pack. So if I put stuff in here, yep, they're fixed. <sighs> These are so nice now. <laughs> it, with that bug fixed, that's all they needed to be fixed. And that's that's absolutely fine. We've got lots of miscellaneous stuff. And you'll see I've got lots of chests here. None of them actually got... Well, this one has some inventory. And I can even middle click to, to resort, which is even nicer. <laughs> yeah, it does take it uh, longer than normal. It's normally instant, but this, this time it takes a little bit longer. However, we can see at the very top of the screen things we might want to put in folders in our filing cabinets. Um, only problem with this at the moment is I may have to move these so that I can put maybe the filing cabinets back to back. Although even so, these, these uh, link cables will only connect to one side, just like the cabinets did in the previous episodes. So we've got to be careful about stacking them. Uh, I would like to stack them upwards, but to do so means the backs would have to be connected. So I think I'm still going to move these out. I think I'm then going to stack up the filing cabinets to have a wall of them because even though the back wall will be pretty, we can probably see if it's uh, forge micro blocks and just cover them in or something with covers. If anyone knows if these are compatible, these cables from Simple Storage Network, we have some kind of covers would be good just to get the, all these little gaps filled in that uh, I don't really like seeing. Are you finished yet? No, you're not. So let's skip forwards until it is. Ah, you do have to click the recipe unlock button at the top, otherwise it doesn't actually process, and that's fine. We only need two of these, and uh, that should be done for this. So we probably can get rid of you, at least temporarily, because we're going to then craft the hydrator, not the hydrator, the, uh, the solidifier. And do you have everything we need? We need the glowstone and a block of iron, so the block of iron is easy enough. The glowstone have we actually got mineral berries for glowstone sapling yet? Uh, we have not got mineral berries for the glowstone sapling. 
Um, they're just a random chance, 30%. You'd expect us to have got that for now. Um, whitelist. Let's turn it to blacklist. Because that needs to be changed if I remember rightly. Whoops, let's do it on this as well. Blacklist. Is that the same as the rest? Yes, it is. Good, that's about the Y. Mineral, have any of that come through? Yes, we've got some mineral berries. So we should now be able to craft glowstone sapling. Gonna put that away. So we need to just change these over to blacklist as well. There we go. And then the mineral, so, sorry, the glowstone sapling, we can put in. That should start generating uh, the, the prerequisites, the resin and the um, acorns for glowstone. And we only need three glowstones, so that shouldn't take it very long at all. Uh, let's just see if any generates in the system. Um, what does this actually produce? So it's just going to be called glowstone. So if we just search for glowstone, let's see what it brings up. Glow. Uh, nothing yet, but that won't take it very long, I suspect. Um, in fact, it's about to complete its first run, I assume. Yep, so let's see what it gives us now. Nothing. Glow. Ah, okay. So yes, we are going to need more than more than just one resin, unfortunately, to make glowstone dust. It does take... Um, I want to say it takes like the usual recipe, five resin, four acorns. So I'll have to wait a little while for that. But that will continue to work in the background, supplying with, with more and more. And we're already up to 18 buckets of lava. So uh, I don't think we're going to have problems with the storage capacity. Uh, that's got 64,000, so it'll do for now. And then this, we can then hook up these pitiful fuel generators to this to give it some sort of backup power. So if I just take these back out again, just temporarily, and if I... Um, why don't we just put it next to this? We only need one. We don't even need a power cable if this is fast enough. Let's see. If I put the logs back in... Are you getting power? You are getting power. And how much is these? So if we do one click every 100 ticks, 5 RF per tick, 10, 25. We can sustain this one because the that pitiful fuel generator produces 15 RF per tick. So I say that's 3 now. We should hear that going faster. Yes, it is. And if we press speed 8, how fast does this go? <laughs> It'll drain this power buffer, but... Yeah. It's pretty fast, okay? And this is instant, so we don't have to wait for it to heat up or anything like that. From the power of a single torch. So, yeah, I quite like that, and that will work well, as long as we feed these with logs. And, uh, again, what I should be able to make is an air export cable. That's an import cable. Let's go for... Do I have any export? I have two export cables. Uh, so, if I do something like this... And we just grab from in here some oak wood. Can I then just set this to be import filter? Oh, interesting. Does that sense what it's connected to? Looks like it. That's quite smart. And then that would just need me to connect up to this cable right here. Uh, unfortunately, it's a little bit... Uh, let me just... I'm going to have to go down again because I don't want disappearing until I actually get covers. Once I get covers, this won't be too bad. And let's just see if I can connect it with cable. Cable. Uh, storage cable. Uh, can I craft more of this stuff? Yes. Okay. Storage cable going this. Whoop, that's the wrong place. Get that back. It's a good down one. Oops. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. And now I'll put another export cable on top here. Because we're going to have another hopping bonsai pot there. And this side will just connect up, hopefully. Uh, why, why won't you let me select? I want to connect right there. There we go. Okay, are you filling with anything? It looks like it is, yes, because that's going up. Not down. Yep. So we are exporting from our system. This almost feels like very, very, very early A2. And I do want covers. Uh, yes, but we'll fix that. There we go. So yeah, that's automatically producing. So automatic power, automatic lava, and uh, or infinite both, essentially, and but not very much of it. And then this one is ready to perhaps feed power into a machine in front of it. Does the solidify need power? Does not say. 
Um, it didn't say in this in the hydrator either. No, it does not say at all. Okay, so how we have in the glowstone? How's it going? Glow. Yep, we've got enough. So uh, we may have enough. Depends how many of this produces. If it produces one, I've not got enough. But let's see. Uh, it produces the the block form. So two two of the block form. We can get eight of this form. And you can go away. That means I can cook, uh, create the solidifier. There we go. Solidifier can go in. And that is going to need probably more of our export cable. But I can pass that underneath, I think, to actually get into the bottom. Yeah, we can be a little bit sneaky here and hide the cables. Uh, so I need some more import uh, export cable. Export cable. And what do you actually need? Just a piston? Yeah, let's just grab that. And if I just lock the recipe in here... Uh, whoops. Lock the recipe. Get four sticks. Recipe locked. And put them in. So it shouldn't use those last set. That's what that does. If I unlock that, it probably would use them. Um, but we're going to leave that locked because anything it adds thereafter will be fine. If we put down you... Can will you now sense? You will. I love that feature. That's great. Okay, so now we can just add a, a cable, the regular cable. Uh, there it is. Okay, storage cable. You should be connected, which means you should start be putting sticks in there. Yeah, it's not it's not doing round robin, but it's fine. And then we'll put requires redstone. Put the floor back. There we go. And I have crafted one more fluid extraction cable. And is it uh, it's pulling from that side? So that should be that connected. And it's going in. So it's got 16 buckets already. And that's down to 32 now. But that's more than enough. Once this starts to actually get some more like this. There it goes. And there should now be enough to actually produce obsidian. Once we have, or once we turn this on, with some sort of lever. And let's grab a lever and there we go so if i is you're not sensing redstone are you let's just um always active so you don't care all right so if i want obsidian i turn it on and it's counting down it should then should produce obsidian here yep and we'll continue to do so more importantly so i'm really happy with that with the entire setup, to be honest, because everything is going to be produced automatically. We are getting sticks and wood directly from the system, if I remember right. I don't need to, to craft sticks, no. They're automatically being created. So sticks and logs are both going in. The logs are providing us power. The sticks are providing us obsidian. The lava is being provided by cobblestone, which is automatic. So that's all very nice. I might want to compact that a little bit more, but I don't see easily how we could. Um... Yeah, we probably want to be able to extend it into an array at some point, but even well, maybe not because this thing is instant. You usually use in a skyblock pack the porcelain crucibles and they're not instant. They take a while to fill up and they take a while to melt the, the stone into lava. This one, as long as you feed this more and more power, uh, the auto clicker that is, and yeah, that'll do fine. This will just continually generate more and more lava which we're currently pulling, it looks like, 29, 27. So yeah, it is constantly being pulled by this, but I assume it'll stop when it hits a stack anyway. So unless we need... Yeah, this doesn't need power either. We could rearrange this, because this bottom one doesn't need power anymore. We could just move this to here and output into this auto clicker, and that means we could... Let's see. Uh, we can get 30. So we can get one more speed boost out of it. Let me just do that. There we go. It's still a shame that we the only attached to one side each, it seems, but that will do until we get something like Ender IO and well, it's many sided, really good uh, sort of pipe system. But this is actually quite nice. I do love it just for that one feature. And now these are both able to output energy. And of course, they've built up the energy in here, so we can then turn this up to four. And that should be much faster. Yep. 
Five will be too much for both of them. It would need four of these pitiful generators. So we need one here and we need one where that cauldron is. So I'm not going to bother with that so right now because uh, we'd have to point it down and then the cauldron would have to have other stuff going. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to worry about it because we have to put it through a hopper and then it probably wouldn't be able to keep up with whatever this is generating. So, yeah, it's absolutely fine as, as far as it goes now. So, what, 13 buckets, 14 buckets. It's putting a quarter bucket at a time. And this is still generating. I think we're, are we keeping up with it? So, 14 and 13, 14. Is it going to go to 15? Okay, so we're probably exactly equal oh no 15 yeah so it is slightly ahead of this even when this is producing i'm very very happy hopefully you enjoyed that episode i know it's been a lot of stuff to get one set up but we've got lava and obsidian and power in the basic form but next episode we'll get to perhaps more serious stuff do we get any actual quests done from that probably not it's a lot of precursor stuff that we'll need for well no we got age of power so we got click 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 a hero and uh yeah so those three are done i'm going to, need to get an auto package in next episode i'm going to basically convert some of these over to going into packages or export them into packages automatically and have the packages do the work so we'll have um things like diamonds generating automatically because it only uses the acorns uh and you just export the acorns for things that does this so for example uh redstone as well and emerald and other bits and pieces so yeah, uh, this will need more of an auto crafter, however, not a, not a regular packager like the glowstone. We'll need a, some kind of crafter for that. What crafter options do we have in the pack? Crafter, we have the auto crafter from Cyclic. That needs purple dye. Uh, do I have any sort of easily... Oh, there's going to be purple dyed water, isn't it? Hang on. Purple dyed water, red dyed water, and blue dyed water. And both of those is probably just going to be uh i assume lapis so yeah we can make that probably redstone for this one as well redstone maybe rose red we can already get so that's fine yeah rose red will do so yeah we can get purple from that we already can make the other stuff so yeah we can make auto crafters automated three by three crafting so we'll consider that next episode as well if you've got any comments, if you've got any improvements, if you see any better way of doing this, do let me know in the comments down below. I'm more than happy to hear it. Otherwise, we'll see you next episode for some more Sky Bluff, Sky Factory. I was going to say Sky Block, Sky Factory 4. And uh, yeah, we'll see you then. As always, guys, thanks for watching.